Hi, this is Bijoy Nambiar. Welcome to BombayCasting.com. Well, uh, once the talent gets the script, I think the first thing that the talent needs to do is um, read through the material thoroughly, try, to, try and understand the character motivation, what is the motivation for the character, what is the background about the character, ask as many questions as possible to the person who's handed over the script, try and find out more details about uh, the character. Whatever info you can get on the character will just help you uh, prepare for it better. So after reading through it thoroughly and after whatever data you have got, uh, with respect to the background about the character, uh, I think you'll be in a better state to prepare for the character. I think uh, for any actor, I mean, I mean, there are various things that you can do to train to be an actor. But I think uh, one of the best things that I can uh, really put forth is to try and observe good actors, actors that you admire, actors whose work that you really like. Try and watch how they, uh, how they take on a role. Try and watch how they prepare for a role. Uh, try and watch a lot of making of uh, films, making of. Try and watch if if you can be part of a, a theatre circle. Try and go and watch actors rehearse for a play. Watch them perform uh, for the play. Similarly, try and watch making of of films. How actor prepares for a role, and then watch the film. So I think observation is uh, is one of the key elements for any actor to pick up from. You know, the, it, it's it's a good trait to have uh, to try and observe as many people as possible, as many good actors as possible. Uh, uh, not not just to emulate them, but also to understand the thought process, understand how how you can prepare better for any part that you can take on. I do a bunch of things. Uh, mainly, I think primarily the way we go about it in my company is we actually, uh, I mean, against the norm, we don't really work with casting directors. We try and cast as much as possible on our own. So uh, that's been the process. We've been, we, we screen a lot of people who come to us uh, through our website uh, and through, through people who contact us. And we, we, we screen them, we, uh, keep a, we maintain a docket of people that we want to kind of test if anything comes forth in the future. And we test them and whenever there is a part that we want to, we first go through our docket to see if there is anyone whom we feel is right from, from the people that we have kind of collected over, the, over a period of time. And if, if that doesn't suit the profile, then we kind of uh, try and uh, contact casting directors, people uh, through whom, or, or through agents, through, uh, through other people, from whom we can uh, source out talent. So, and of course, there is a very strict um, uh, audition process for any part that we go to, be it the primary cast or the secondary cast, we'll try and uh, audition as much as possible to try and see. And in fact, a lot of times, a lot of times this has happened to me that we have auditioned a lot of people who have been remarkable, but who are not, you know, fit the part. Uh, but they have been they've been great auditions. But but what we do is we, we keep those auditions uh, safely to so that if there is anything in the future we feel it's, uh, that will be right, we, we make sure we call them back because just purely because of, of, of a good audition that we make sure we file them and keep it. Well, there are so many actors that I like, uh, so I can't really pinpoint a single out, but. Um, uh, of late, that uh, uh, one of the actors, a couple of actors that I really uh, uh, that, I, that I've worked with, whom I really liked, um, a lot of actors from the uh, from Marathi theatre, um, uh, someone called Shruti Marathi, whom I really like. I think she's a terrific actor. Uh, Vicky Kaushal from Masan, I think he was terrific, uh, like a new find. Um, again, Karan Pandit from theatre, again, uh, terrific, terrific actors. These are all, uh, I think, these are all actors who are, who are you know new wave of kind of actors who, who, you know, we've been used to seeing the same talent kind of rotating, but s some of this um, uh, talent have been kind of waiting to come out. So th these are some of the actors that I've seen in the recent past who have really uh, impressed me with their work. Uh, so uh, I think, yeah. I am a firm believer of workshops. I'm a firm believer of uh, workshop, not just for the actors, for uh, for myself as a director. I, I truly believe that, um, a workshop really helps me prepare uh, for my script better. So I think I can say the same for the actors too. I think actors who have the opportunity to do a workshop should uh, definitely juice it as much as possible because it helps you in ways more than you can imagine. Uh, it helps you block a scene. It helps you understand uh, how the other actors, how your f fellow actors are looking at the same scene. It helps you understand how the director is looking at the sa same scene. It helps you open out uh, and uh, answer all those doubts and questions which may, you may have. 
which uh, no, you know when you land up on set n not necessarily can be answered so it's better if you can uh, rehearse for it do a workshop for it uh, before and it's um, i think uh, any kind of acting workshop uh, it's it's just kind of you know it's sharpening your 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 your, your skill set so uh, I, i'm a firm advocate of that i, I really believe that uh, workshop should be workshops should be part of a, 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 a curriculum for any actor